I really do hope this fixed the blowing sound. Um, Hello there. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Right now, I'm going to talk about three major ways to improve your editing. If you are a good at edit courses and you're good at um, like, and you're just good at creative editing, but you're not, you want to improve much better in game, then this is the perfect video for you. So I've been, for the past few days, I've been trying to get better quality on the video. Hopefully this fixed the problem I was having with the audio. Um, a lot of the times I was just getting this buzzing noise or getting this, and I tried to record this a few times and then I, you know, I, I didn't work very well. Um, really, uh, today's video is just going to be really hammering how to get better at editing and why edit courses are actually moving you slower into actually improving and I'm gonna go over that of course in today's video and what I really want to capture this how many times you go into a fight and your builds are there before you place them like how many times you edit a build but it's there even before you even get into the fight uh, you can edit before you even get to the fight. It doesn't work. You have to place and then edit. And sh right away, I want to mention that this te uh, this technique and I'll, what I'll explain in the video and what you'll see is a much faster way to improve your editing as a player, as a PC player, as a you know, as a uh, console player, as a controller player, to keyboard and mouse player. This will improve your editing faster than an edit course will. And just give it some time. Give it a week. See if you see improvement. I really hope you guys like the video, and without further ado, let's uh, get the clips going. NS, why in the world are you staring at an aim trainer? I thought I thought this video I thought this video was going to be based on editing. How could it aiming help me edit? Well, I'm gonna show you then. Right now, this is um, gonna be a much like it's gonna be more of a warm-up than actually aiming but I'll show you why it helps right here this bit was really I like about putting it on the lowest one is it actually makes your crosshair kind of transparent just a little bit it makes it so it's kind of transparent so you can see through it way better it's really cool and what this is gonna do is this is gonna help you flick onto uh, target after like so when you edit right, you are usually trying to flick onto an enemy, sometimes when you're doing offensively, offensive building, and, um, or like when you're trying to edit into like a, out of your box, and just get better at that when you're building, um, this will right here. So when you free build, right? Practice different things. Don't just go around mindlessly free building, right? And I know there's maps to do this, but like I don't really like those maps. Like, focus on piece control. Uh, focus on editing out. Um, like you know, try to do triple edits. Even if it goes like this, even if it takes you like one, two, you know, like that, it doesn't matter because you're just trying to. You know, practice. Yeah, I could use practice as well on these, uh, some of these. Uh, now, I want to get into a couple things more. So, stick through the video, right? Now, I'm going to go over how you can aim th when you do edits as well in my next video. So, again, um, if you want to get notified for that right away when it comes out, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. Um, what I like to do is I actually like to... Um, practice my piece control like this uh, place a ramp here and then open up a window like this and then place like a wall it doesn't play it just didn't place that's weird um, and then like over here I like to do this as well uh, where you edit out place a cone place a um, ball like this and then you trap the guy in the box right away when it comes out subscribe to the channel turn on notifications on my new settings so this is my settings if you want to know what the settings are my settings for uh, controller if you are a controller player here's what the settings are I'm I will change these I'll go back to 55% possibly but these are my settings I'm not sure I would if you want to copy these uh, I am I am 
I don't know if I'm gonna change that when I get the controller. These dead zones will change depending on because my uh, Elite Series 2 had horrible stick drift, so I had to put them up pretty high. Uh, especially the left stick. The left stick was terrible. Like, it still had stick drift. It still has stick drift. Like, I would have to place it like on 20% each, which I'm not gonna do that. So, uh, for my keyboard, it, it, for my keyboard sensitivity, I've been doing a lot of research on this. I've been practicing a lot with this. It feels really good. 0.5%, 13.5%. I tried 17% once. It's too fast. I can't aim really well. This is a good in between to like a 10%, which 10% should be one of the minimum you aim with. And then uh, 15 to 16% should be one of the max for 400 DPI. For 800 DPI, I would probably suggest having a 6% to 10% or even, you know, around that for, you know, eight, I don't know, for 800 DPI. For 400 DPI, I'm doing 13.5, 13.5. Um, I would suggest not copying this because I do like a higher sensitivity. If you struggle with high sensitivity, then maybe you want to make this 12%. Um, 38% for my um, target sensitivity. Now, I would suggest doing 30% to 50%. I wouldn't really do 50%. I would probably do around 4, um, 40%. So if you want to, if you want to see how I've improved, this is the pretty close to the end result on how have I've improved with this uh, free building technique. Oh my lord, like If you like today's video, subscribe, turn on all notifications, and if you want to see my aiming, see my aiming video as soon as it comes out, sub subscribe again. If all, for all seriousness, thank you for watching. If you watch it this far, you're a legend, and God bless your day, and I will see you in the next one.